Hello everybody. Today we're going to find patterns in a table to fill in missing numbers. This is a problem solving strategy. So what we're really doing is looking for patterns. If you look at the different numbers here, this table is partially filled in. So there's a few obvious. If you look, now let's look at this column over here. And we see 1900s, we see 2900s. So we notice that this is increasing by 10 each time. So it's pretty easy to tell that this next one's going to be 3900s. And this one is going to be 900s. If we look at the pattern going across, it's pretty easy to tell that we're counting by hundreds. So 100, 200, 300. So 400, 500, 600, 700, and we can continue it. Once we know that pattern and how it's progressing, it's easy to tell that if we went to the right of 15 hundreds, we're going to have 16 hundreds there. And if we went below 15 hundreds, it's going to be 25 hundreds. And if we look at 300s, if we went over here, not cross, but diagonally down to here, we know that this is going to be 1300s, so this one would be 1400s. So once you recognize the pattern, it's pretty easy to go through and fill out this entire table. So if we look vertically here underneath one tenth. It's pretty easy to know that the next will be two tenths and three tenths and four tenths. And if we look underneath eight hundredths, we know it's going to be below, it's going to be eighteen hundredths, twenty eight hundredths, and thirty eight hundredths. And seven hundredths below seven hundredths will be seventeen hundredths, twenty seven hundredths, and below sixteen hundredths will be twenty six hundredths, thirty six hundredths, before below twenty five hundredths will be thirty five hundredths. So finding patterns in a table is a great problem solving strategy. Now you have a few problems to try on GoFormative. Good luck.